Nobody thinks about their colon or rectum until they get sick. We eat food every day to live. The food is decomposed and absorbed in a small intestine, then passes through the colon and the rectum and move out from our bodies. If cancer develops there, what kind of functions will be lost? Some patients lose their hope thinking, what if I won't be able to eat like I did before, or will I end up with a stoma? At times like this, we are to be there for the patient to offer them more suitable options. We not only want to cure cancer, but also protect our patients' normal daily lives. That is what we value in our cancer treatment. So we could check the total donors was uh, possibly a week uh, we, we, we could get that. Uh, we, after the speech, we will uh, It's not just the doctors. Here, experts in surgery, radiology, and clinical oncology bring their specialized skills together to work as a team to determine better treatment approach. A unique feature of the Department of Colorectal Surgery is the presence of the nurses who specialize in stoma care. After rectal cancer surgery, a stoma may be needed either temporarily or permanently. We work with a patient to make sure that they can continue their daily lives even with a stoma. To provide patients who are facing cancer with better options using advanced medical technology available today, we are conducting joint research with global medical professionals and introducing state-of-the-art research findings into our treatments. As of June 2023, 90% of surgeries performed in our department are laparoscopic surgeries. The scars are smaller, and the recovery time is faster compared to open surgeries. The accuracy of surgeries have improved and the burden of patient is much smaller than before. And one of the issues we have been trying to address in rectal cancer treatment is how to remove the cancer and preserve the anus at the same time. We are one of the first surgeons in Japan to introduce new surgical approach to preserve the anus and have successfully operated on many electoral cancer patients without removing the anus. We are also working on the development and introduction of AI-powered medical devices. The Department of Colorectal Surgery and the Medical Device Innovation Center have collaborated to develop a surgical robot that reflects the needs of clinical sites. We will continue to pioneer the next generation of medical care, aiming for the future that can save as many colorectal cancer patients as possible. <laughs> <laughs>